The Red Couch is brought to you by CyberGhost VPN. Welcome to the Red Couch special on why the Internet of Things should terrify us. Today, I am the Internet. I may not look like the Internet, but who knows the true face of the Internet. Everything is connected to me. The world is under the umbrella of my Wi-Fi. Every object has machine-readable identifiers, such as barcodes and RFID tags on products and sensors in the street, in the shops, and in your home. This means your smartphone can talk to a can of beans without your knowledge. If you run out of milk, your fridge can order a new bottle for you straight from me. Yes, I know more about your life than you do. And I will make decisions that benefit your health, your career and your sex life. You don't even need yourself anymore. Now I am the Internet of Things. The question is, does this make your life more efficient, giving you more time to focus on your family, relationships and art? Does it equip you with the chance to be a philosopher king, detached from the headaches of the material world? Or are you no more than a coma patient, fed, watered and monitored by me? A horror vision of tomorrow? No. This is happening today on both sides of the Pacific. In South Korea, the new city of Songdo will become the first urban environment to run on information. There will be millions of sensors and microcomputers stuck into surfaces throughout the metropolis. Humans will be plugged into me. I will cook for you, monitor your health, the traffic and how long you spend online. I could give this information to insurance companies, the police or the secret services. I've done it before. Meanwhile, in America. To help customers get a better experience, Disney has created the $1.5 billion Magic Band, a wristband with an RFID sensor. <coughs> this microchip contains your credit card details, passes for park rides and your hotel room key. Yes, Goofy knows your name, where you live, how much money you have and how many cheeseburgers you ate for breakfast. A similar wristband connected to a smartphone could monitor your heart rate, sugar intake and blood pressure. Crucial information for your employer. By reading your body it can tell whether you've smoked a joint, have symptoms of cancer and who you are attracted to. Yes, with your email, internet searches and telephone now monitored by me, your buying habits now available to me, your every move at work, at home and in the city, everything you say and do is recorded through me. There is one freedom that is yours, your emotional privacy. But with technology that traps your inner and outer world simultaneously, the knowledge of who you choose to love is surrendered to me. Thank you, Uncle Walt.